Yo, what's up with the YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in the video with yet another video today. I'm coming to you guys with a different video that I haven't done in a while. Now, the first part of this video, I dropped it on Thanksgiving. And yeah, that's been over a month. And so, yeah, this is going to be part two of the series. And it's literally like a series where I show y'all like the rarest of anything. Like the first part, it was the rarest dunks in the game. So, yeah, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the five best rare builds in NBA 2K20. Now, if you guys want another part of this, all you gotta do is show the support on this video, and then, yeah, I'm gonna have another one coming way faster than the other one, just because of that. But I don't know why I waited a month, but yeah, if you got whatever you guys, if you guys got any ideas, anything that you want me to drop a video on, it being like a ranking, anything, go ahead, put that in the description below, man. But uh, yeah, man, without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. Now, it wouldn't be a ranking list if the list didn't have honorable mentions. Now, for this list, I'm going to have four honorable mentions, and then I'm going to have just five builds. Now, on the four honorable mentions, I'm going to try to go through them as fast as possible. So, yeah, the first build I'm going to be showing you guys is the three-point playmaker. Now, on the screen, I'm going to have all these builds going on the screen. I'm also going to have a link in the description. Now, I'm probably going to have the links to all these videos of when I showed, made them. I'm gonna have all these videos in the comments too because I don't know what people really like to look at most. So I'm gonna put it both because if people wanna look at the description, people wanna go to the comments below, they can go to either one. But yeah, first build we're gonna be going over is the three point playmaker. The three point playmaker is really just a, a play sharp, but it's not even the best play sharp build. So that's why it's an honorable mention. But yeah, the three point playmaker is a build that's really just strictly. Just shooting and dribbling, playmaking, all that. It's a really good ISO build if you really like to shoot. And yeah, it's a really good. It's not a bad build at all, but you, if you you can literally make a playmaking shot creator, and you'll be it'll be a better build in my opinion. I feel like my playmaking shot creator build is better than the three point playmaker build that I made. So yeah, that's the reason for it being an honorable mention. And I don't think it's better than any of the other builds or the honorable mentions that I have left on this list. Alright, next we got another honorable mention and it's going to be the perimeter lockdown build. Now, on the perimeter lockdown build, now one thing to note is the only reason it's really even on this list for honorable mention is because it just can't dribble. You're literally just a spot up and defender, but it does those two things at a very high rate and you can also dunk at a good rate. It's very, really, really well rounded when you just, just look at everything else besides the playmaking from the badges to the attributes but it just literally has nothing on playmaking it literally has nothing on playmaking now there's a way you can make it and have playmaking but you're gonna have less badges like on the build completely so i don't even know if that's even worth it at that point i wouldn't do that but yeah i have a build that's like this where you get all that but it's not a perimeter defender or perimeter lockdown but yeah man um perimeter lockdown is a great spot up Bill, if you like, if you like one of those people that like to be locked down, but you want to be able to shoot, this is a great build for you. All right, next we got another honorable mention, and it's going to be the two-way inside-out playmaker build. Now, the inside-out playmaker that's goaded. That might be later. That might be coming up later in the list. But yeah, the two-way inside-out playmaker build. The only reason it's on this list this low is because it's six foot three. Now, I have a build that's a lot like this, but it's taller. That's going to be on this list, but. From the badges to the attributes, it's a very, very balanced build. It's one of the best builds in the game, in my opinion, when it comes to these two ways. But if it was just a little bit taller, it'd be good. But yeah, I have a build that's just like, that's literally exactly like this, but it has different attributes and it's taller. And you have just as many badges, if not more. But yeah, the inside out, two way inside out playmaker, an honorable mention. It's a good build for all the point guards that like to play defense and don't care about your height and just really, really care a lot about your attributes. So yeah, if you really think the attributes way more than like height and all that, go ahead and make this build. Alright, now last but not least for the honorable mention. Now this build was hard not to put into the top five. But it's going to be the scoring machine build. Now the scoring machine build is goaded. It is definitely one of the best builds in the game. It definitely is. But, but, but I will put, it's two builds that's just like this build that are better in my opinion that are on this list. Now, when you come up to this build, the way you make it is the shooting and finishing. You get shooting and finishing Hall of Fame badges. You can get contact dunks on this build. You can get you can speed boost with this build. You can do pretty much everything with this build. It's a very, very good build. It's a goaded build for sure. But 
only reason it didn't make the honorable mention, the only reason it made the honorable mention is because I have two builds that's I like this build that's higher on this list, and pretty much that's really all it is. If they, if if I would have replaced one of those, this would definitely be on this list for sure. But yeah, man, scoring machine, the last honorable mention on this list. It's a great build for anybody that really like to dunk, shoot, speed boost, and they want to be a guard. It's a very good build, and you just like the name scoring machine. Just go ahead and go with that. All right, next, getting into the list. Now we getting into the list. First build we gonna be going over is a good build, bro. It's a really good name too, bro. It's a really good name. Now, first things first, what you're gonna do is make them a small four. You're gonna go with the pie charts for shooting and defensive. So you're gonna have shooting and defensive Hall of Fame badges. And then when it comes to the attributes, your attributes are gonna even be balanced. So you don't have the most finishing badges, but you still have a dunk driving layup and a decent close shot so you can still get the job done with that but you can shoot the ball well with 15 shooting badges you can dribble at a decent rate and pass and you still get eight playmaking badges and then you have really good defense with 15 defensive badges now this build is also good when it comes to the height the weight the wingspan and you can use this as a spot up build this is really a better version of the perimeter lockdown build in my opinion now if you don't care about dribbling and stuff like that the perimeter lockdown build might be better it might be better but i feel like the ability to be able to even dribble at all and this build being a small for with there not being too many small for builds that's like actually even like that crazy good makes this build just sets this build apart from the rest but yeah man you will go you will put them at like six six minimum weight then yeah you can go whatever takeover and all that bro it has good choices on everything bro like it's a good build in my opinion and it's the three and d wing build it's a it's literally a three and d wing it's actually a build that says exactly what it does it's a it's a build that's literally just there to shoot the three and play defense but if it needs to dribble the ball it can dribble the ball if it needs to go for a dunk it can dunk stuff like that so yeah man it's a really really balanced build for any 3 and d build in my opinion it's the best balanced spot up build in the game in my opinion for these rare builds for sure so yeah all right coming in at number four we got another build that's gonna be a two-way now when it comes to this build you're gonna go at point guard not small for not shooting guard point guard it's gonna be a two-way point guard then when it goes to the pie chart you're gonna go with the shooting and defending pie chart and you want to go with that pie chart because that's going to get you those hall of fame I'm not getting Hall of Fame badges, I just need six. And then you get 18 shooting badges with an 83 and an 81 mid range. Then you get now the thing that sets this build apart from the last build is the fact that it can be at 6'5 and do all this, bro. Like literally, the other build, the 3 and D wing build is six foot six, and it's literally strictly just to spot up. Play the point guard at the, th at the threes. You can play, you can play the like this is a good build. Now, if at the pro am and stuff like that, you probably want to play the two. I don't know if you would want to play the one, but you could if you wanted to. Like, if you was like that, you really could. But, yeah, you go down in wingspan, you lose stuff on defense, but you gain so much on offense that it's like, you got to go with that. And then when it comes to the takeover, you just get... And it's not even just because it's rare that it's on this list. It's just a good build. Alright, coming in at number three, we got a shooting guard build. Now, with it being a shooting guard build, you don't have to make him a shooting guard. You can you can make it a point guard. You can make it a small fort. But the one I made, it was a shooting guard. But pie chart you're going to go with is the shooting and finishing. So you're going to have shooting and finishing Hall of Fame badges. Then, since you're a guard,
Bro, you can, bro, this build is pretty much limitless, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty much limitless. Now, one thing that really sets this build apart from the build that's just like this, that's higher up on the list, is the fact that the badges on it are just, it's not as many badges. And the way you have to do the attributes, it messes up the badges. So it's like, there's ways to make this build better. Yes, there is ways to make this build better. But it's still not gonna have as many badges as the number one build. Now, um, when it comes to this build, you do get to be six foot five you, and all that. You have a lot of options when it comes to takeover. You can do this build is still a glitchy build. Like if you know what you're doing with this build, you'll be a go. Like Chalk has this build and he literally like, he literally with his legend badge, when you getting all those badges, it makes this build, it doesn't even matter how many badges you get like at that point because you get 10 additional badges. But yeah, it's a four spacing slasher. It's one of the best badges in the game. It's one of the best names for a build in the game. It's just that simple, but yeah. Um, I'm not ranking it off of the names. I'm ranking it off of what I think are the best builds. So yeah, but it definitely is a glitchy build. One of the best guard builds in the game because of what it can do. But yeah. All right, next. Now, this is this is going to be a build that's like, I know a lot of people know what this build is. The two-way slashing playmaker. This is a build that's just like that, but it's like a bigger version. It's like the, now this is like one of the builds that's like really, really close to, if you're making a LeBron build, this is a build that's close to making like a LeBron build. Now, when you're going with the pie chart, you're going to go with the playmaking and defending pie chart. Then when you go with the physical pie chart, you're going to go with the speed pie chart. Then when you get to the attributes, the attributes are balanced, but they're really not. The finishing is kind of balanced, but you have a max driving dunk, and then the layup is just low. And then you have nothing else. But, yeah, the, you're going to be able to get contact dunks. Right, right here, you're not going to get contact dunks. But if you grind this build long enough, you'll be able to get contact dunks. But... Yeah, you see the shooting, the playmaking, all that, bro. You get 17 playmaking badges, 20 defensive badges, and 10 shooting. 10 is the max you can have on this build, just that simple. But 17 and 20, that's good, bro. Now, you only get one finishing badge, even with you get being able to get contact dunks. But this build is so glitchy. Like, if you know who X, I know who Nut is, bro. He makes this build look like a demi, like a literal demi guy, bro. Like, he, you can do anything with this joint. You can speed boost with this joint. At six foot eight, you can literally, bro. This build is so glitchy, bro. You can shoot if you know if you have the right jump shot on 2K20. You can really shoot on any build, almost. Well, not any build, but yeah. If you if you know if you get used to shooting with like a 68 or 65 jump three pointer, you can pretty much just gotta have. You just gotta know your jump shot. But yeah, uh, the takeover choices are kind of limited, but you still can get that playmaker takeover to take people's ankles and get them clips. But yeah, man, it comes out as a playmaking glass leader. Now, it says you're a playmaking glass leader, but you play like a two-way slashing playmaker, but at like six foot eight instead of like six foot five or six foot six. It's like a taller version of that build. So yeah, man, and that, in my opinion, that's one of the glitchiest builds in the game. So that comes in at two. But coming in at number one, you know, you know, you probably already knew as soon as you clicked on this build what was coming in at number one. But number one, bro, gotta be that inside out playmaker build that inside out playmaker build y'all know i be when i do my gameplays y'all tune in every single time i put that joint in the title because y'all know what time it is bro it's either gonna be an ankle breaker i'm dunking on somebody i'm greening in somebody's face something's crazy going on because that build is just too crazy bro it's just too glitchy it's just that simple but now at the beginning of the year when i showed y'all the video i showed y'all at six foot three but then yesterday i finally updated y'all with the build i'm using gonna be using in my videos now and it's at six foot five and it makes it just that much better and you get more badges on it because you get the 14 and 8 instead of the 15 and 6 so you get that one extra badge and yeah and the only problem with my six foot three was the defense now that i have them six foot five and i get more defensive badges it's just that much better, bro. It's just that much better, bro. I'm telling you, it's just that much better. But yeah, um, I don't have no clips for my six foot five yet, but I do got these. You know what I'm saying? I do got these. Wait a minute. Just wait a damn second here. We 
have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. <laughs> oh, bruh. But yeah, these are the best rare builds in NBA 2K20. Go ahead, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, man. We got movies coming out every single day, bro. We've been on this daily upload grind. Y'all been going so crazy on the channel, so it's only right that I keep going. So, yeah, man. Go ahead, like I said, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, man. We got movies coming out every single day. Turn on them post notices to be the first one to all my videos, bro. Share this video to anybody you think that. Just share the video, you know what I'm saying? For Just share it for me, you know what I'm saying? So we can get this joint, blow this joint up. But yeah, man. I put a lot of time into this, bro. Um, put down in the comments below any list, like any ranking list, any rare list, like anything like that. If you want me to rank takeovers again, I can rank takeovers again. I can rank a lot of things. It's 2K. It don't even have to be 2K related. I can rank NBA players, anything. Put it in the comments below what you want to see me rank. Um, also, if there's any... Bills, you think I left off this video? Anything I think I put too high? Anything I put too low? Anything I should have put in the honorable mentions? Anything I should have taken out the honorable mentions and put it on the list? Anything I should have taken off the honorable mentions and taken them off the list? Anything I should have put in the honorable mentions? Put it in the comments down below. I want to see what y'all opinions is on this matter. You know what I'm saying? I want to have a, any type of constructive criticism. Put it in the comments below. But yeah, man. Like I said, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you new. got more videos coming out every single day. Turn on post notifications to be the first to every single one of my videos. Share the video just for me. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fit. Well, I just talked so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I, bro, I just did that so. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fit. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, I'm a bad boy When I got off my ass and got to the cash and got in my bag, boy Please don't think it's sweet, I stay with the heat even though I'm a sad boy You better watch the way you breathe around me for that breath be last, boy I've been drinking red reds, boy The talent that I got that I don't usually do, but Ugh, wow Keanu Trump He's a hero, that's what she is She has helped with a lot of lonely nights as a child <laughs> A lot of lonely nights, man My niggas know in the comments Keanu Trump is a goat. So she's like an artist? She's an artist. He's an artiste. <laughs>